So this is a lovely Cade Reef Aquarium. And up until several days ago, um, the corals were absolutely booming. If you look in some of the previous videos, you'll see this same tank and the corals are just going off. And then the last few days, the corals just have taken a huge turn for the worst. So the first thing that obviously I need to do is to ask what has changed within the last week or so. And there certainly is something that's changed. The addition of a dog face puffer. Now a dog face puffer and any of these puffers with the big beaks are a significant risk to corals. If you're very, very, very lucky, you may get a dog face puffer that goes okay with your corals. But in general, they'll eat all your shrimp, they'll eat crabs, they'll eat any crustaceans, they'll eat snails, um, and they often munch into your coral. They love crunching on things, and sometimes the coral is a perfect candidate to crunch on. So whether they actually eat the coral or whether they're just crunching on it for something to do, who knows. But I have definitely had instances before where a beautiful reef tank has been impacted by a dog face puffer. So the long and short of it is be very wary putting any sort of beaked or um, long snouted fish in your aquarium. Let's see if he does it right in front of us. That wasn't officially a bite, but that's all it takes for him to run past and bite it. With that big beak he's got, he can do a lot of damage. And it just needs to be a little bite here and a bite there just to really throw your corals out. Beautiful fish though. Awesome to watch. Has he bitten you yet? No. Oh, yeah, you'll know when he bites you. Yeah. They give him a mad bite. I'll probably feed the fish up just a little bit more too. Some of them are just a tad on the skinny side. Okay. Like this wrasse is just a tad skinny. The tang is just a tad skinny. So I'd, I'd probably just start feeding them up a little bit more. 